It's funny, but whenever a new technology is discovered, somehow one of the very first things that people want to experiment with it for is sex. So the year is 1800, usable electricity or the first voltaic battery has just been created and everyone's trying to figure out what they can use electricity for. Johann Wilhelm Ritter, young German physicist, very bright guy, he's the one who discovered UV rays, he discovered galvanism, he created the very first dry cell battery. So as I said, very bright guy. He decides to experiment with the effects of electricity on the human body. So in a way, he also created the very first electrical orgasm. So basically, Ritter had started by applying electricity to every single part of his body. He'd put it onto his tongue. He realized that electricity tastes acidic. He pressed it into his eyes and realized that it makes his vision go all psychedelic. He'd pushed it up his nose. It had made him sneeze. And gradually, he'd worked his way down his body till he got to his penis. Now here, he had dipped a cloth in lukewarm milk wrapped it around his penis and then applied the electricity. But apparently this had proved particularly pleasurable because in his words, it had given him an instant erection followed by a magical orgasm. Unfortunately, however, this had proved to be so good that he had become addicted to it. He'd become famous for actually telling people that he was going to marry his voltaic battery because nothing could give him pleasure like this good. But as you can imagine, this addiction was not going to end well. It says that Ritter had gradually started to increase the current to higher and higher levels to increase the pleasure in some way. He would force himself to put up with this for longer and longer periods of time and then use opium to dull the pain. And the result of all this was that gradually his eyes had started to grow infected. He got terrible stomach cramps. He suffered with severe muscle spasms. His lungs filled with mucus. He lost sensation in different parts of his body and he became so weak that apparently there were times that he could not even get out of bed for weeks at a time. Eventually it says that with this weakness, he succumbed to tuberculosis and died at the age of 33. Moral of the story, electrical orgasms might sound amazing, but not such a great thing after all. It's better to stick to the human connection and wisdom and intelligence are two very different things.